this tutorial, we will learn how to create application passwords. This process should only take about five minutes to complete. Before you begin, please have the following available, your mobile phone, your ETSU username and password, and on your computer, please open a web browser with internet connection and the text editor program such as Notepad. Begin by pointing your web browser to webmail.etsu.edu. Click the Office 365 login and then enter your ETSU email address and password to sign in. Next you'll see a prompt for the two-factor code. Check your mobile phone for this code and enter the value provided. Then click Verify. You can choose whether or not to stay signed in. If you're on a public computer, be sure to click No. Otherwise, you can click Yes. Once the email screen has loaded, look in the top right corner and click on the gear icon to bring up Settings for Office 365. In the search box, type Security to bring up the Additional Security Verification section. Click to expand this section, then click on the link titled Create and Manage App Passwords. This will open in a new window where you can add additional app passwords. As we learned in the two-factor setup tutorial, we will use this app password instead of our ETSU password for two-factor configuration. Let's say that I forgot to check the Remember My Password option when I set up two-factor in Outlook. Now my computer rebooted and I'm being prompted again for a two-factor password. I'll need to create a new password. I'll give it a name that describes how it's being used. Once you click Next, the password is generated and displayed. I need to copy this password into Notepad so that I can use it to sign in to Outlook or other applications. Select Control-C and copy the value to the clipboard or use the Copy Password to Clipboard button. If the button doesn't work, use Control-C to copy the value. Remember that once you create and save an app password, you can never retrieve that password value again, but you can always come here and create a new one when you need it and delete any old ones. Now that you have the password, you can open Outlook or other application and paste the value into the password field. Be sure to check the Remember My Password box when you do this. Once you're finished using Notepad, using the password, you can close Notepad. Microsoft has a web page with some additional information. If you want to browse this page, click the link that's provided in the text. This page contain some important reminders about how two-factor application authentication passwords work. If you have questions or problems, please feel free to contact the ITS Help Desk.